Hi everyone, this is going to be a quick tutorial on how to zoom and navigate around the workspace within Adobe Premiere because there's a lot of windows going on and especially if you have a pretty small computer um, it can be really hard to get things in the right place. So first of all I'm going to add some media. You can do this through the media browser. I'm just going to go ahead and file and import some clips. I have some nice pictures of fruit that I use in these. Now they're going to appear in my list. So far I don't have a timeline. Alright, it's not appearing. I have a timeline but no sequences. Um, and what I can do is just drag anything from my media panel over here and it will create a sequence. It automatically gives it the name as, as the first thing that I added. I could rename that later. I can also go to File, New, oops, File, New, um, sequence and make it that way instead if I wanted to give it a special name like fruit and then I could close this first one now I have a totally blank um, timeline if I want to do that you can have multiple sequences and they're all listed here um, that one even though I closed it it still exists if I wanted to go back to it let's go ahead and add the cherries clip now when I add that it shows up really really tiny which is really hard to um, to really be able to navigate for sure. So one way that you can um, make this bigger is using um, the zoom tool. Let's see if we can make this show up. So if you come down here, you can actually drag on the scroller and it changes how much time you're seeing. So this little clip right here only takes a very a very short amount of time in my video so five seconds um, in this view five seconds looks really long if I stretch it out so that my entire timeline shows more um, five seconds is obviously going to be very short so that's an easy way to navigate I can also use my zoom tool here uh, to do that in increments um, You can hold down Alt on Windows, I believe it's Command on a Mac, um, to be able to do minimizing instead. But I really like using the, the zooming motion down here. You might have the same thing come up over here with your media panels if you can't see everything, or you might want to be able to see a little. And you can use these little toggle buttons down here to switch from a list view to um, a media view where you can see everything. You can also change use the slider to change the size. Um, so you can see them either bigger or smaller before you add them to your timeline. You can also drag um, your different panels around if you want to be able to make a particular part of your timeline bigger so you can see thumbnails. You can also change the, the ratios of your boxes if you want to be able to say your viewer bigger, for example. Um, you can also bring these boxes out and set them um, by themselves, although then they start overlapping and that can get even more confusing. If you ever get things mixed up, or let's say we move this down here and we move this up here, maybe you want to work that way for a while and now you want to get back, you can go to Window, Workspaces, and Reset Save Layout, and that'll bring you right back to the way you had it before. 